Of all the Elder Dragons we have discovered to this day, none remain more undocumented than the one known as Elatrion. The very name invokes feelings of fear and despair from those that hear it, and most even refuse to utter its name. Some deny its very existence, so much so that nearly all records of this fabled Elder Dragon of Destruction were burned, the knowledge forever lost in the embers. However, due to recent reports from the Third Fleet, the Research Commission gained a rare but dangerous chance to observe and study this Elder Dragon. The report pointed in the direction of the secluded valley, decorated by the molted skin of a Xenojiva that once called this place its home. What once was a harrowing pit of foreboding danger became the home for sheer, unbridled destruction. The Blazing Black Dragon, Elatrion. For all its destructive powers, it is difficult to deny the sheer beauty and grace of this Elder Dragon. And unlike other Elder Dragons, this Avatar of Destruction is capable of utilizing all the known elements at will. Fire. Water. Ice. And even lightning. In addition, Elatrion's horns and claws are imbued with the ability to nullify any elements used against it, giving it a strong edge over any adversary they may come across. Elatrion can be found to be in one of two states, one of two heightened elemental states, and a weakened neutral active dragon state. In its active fire mode, its scales glow a fiery crimson, and its body temperature rises as it readies to fight with fire. Likewise, in its active ice mode, the Elatrion takes on a vibrant blue, as its wings become even more stunningly iridescent and its body temperature drops enough to freeze foes with its mere breath. Over time, the elemental energy stored within it wanes, and the remaining is violently expelled as it returns to its neutral state. Elatrion can naturally return to its elemental states by passively drawing in energy from the surrounding area. However, Elatrion is able to return to its heightened elemental state by drawing in massive amounts of energy to force the transition, a process so unstable that all the excess energy gathered causes a devastating elemental nova that decimates anything within its range. Only those that are able to survive its eschaton judgment are deemed worthy to continue to face the blazing black dragon. 
Palatreon's discovery has only given rise to more questions than answers, and its place in the greater ecology of this world remains a mystery. Was it a coincidence that it was found in the secluded valley where Safijiba was also recently discovered? Is there a connection between the two elder dragons that are unbeknownst to us? While the answer may be unknown to us for the time being, our curiosity grows evermore as we continue to hunt for truth in the new world. To receive the latest publications, please consider subscribing to the Borealis Bestiary Project. If you wish to further support the project, consider sharing this video or becoming a patron to support future expeditions.